Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And do you keep your leftover pieces of your binding? Once you're done your quilt, a lot of times we'll have a piece left over. Now, I like to keep them because you just never know when I'm going to need them. Well, after a while, you can get quite a few. So I do have a project that we can use these with. And we are going to need a hanger and one straight pin. I love these plastic hangers. They look nice. However, they're slippery and a lot of times the sleeves of my shirts fall off. So they end up on the floor, not in my closet. So I want to cover the hangers with this fabric binding. And that way the hangers are not so slippery and I think they'll look nice too. So I have leftover binding. Sometimes I've pieced them together but they're all folded in half and pressed. So I do have that one fold edge and I'm going to leave it folded. And then I'm going to start wrapping this around the hanger. I do want to have a bow up at the top when I'm done. So I'm going to leave a bit of a tail on one piece. And just tie on that top. From here I'm going to start wrapping the hanger. What I do want is that folded part up at the top. I'm going to keep that out of the way. And I'm going to start wrapping so that fold is going towards that hook. I'm going to cover the raw edge, wrap again. Wrap so the fold is up at the top. If you always keep that fold up at the top, it's going to cover that raw edge. So I have no raw edges exposed. I just keep wrapping. I'm not worried about how much space there is. And if I have one of these little hooks or something on the hanger, I'm just going to bypass it. So just slip it underneath and keep wrapping. And keep wrapping and wrapping going around that corner. I am pulling fairly tight as I go around because I do not want this to slip and slide. Just going to continue to wrap. Always keeping the fold edge up at the top so I'm covering that raw edge. When you come close to an end, what I want to do is put one binding inside of the other. So I'll just open up one, overlap about an inch, and I'm going to pin those layers together so that the pin is up at the top. That's just keeping those layers together as I continue to wrap. I'm not worried about having that come apart now. Continue to wrap. Then eventually, you're going to be able to start to go over that seam, tuck in those ends, wrap, and then I'm going to be able to take out that pin. So I didn't have to glue those edges together. They just are staying together now that I've wrapped this tightly. And continue wrapping. Once we come to the end, wrap around the hanger and you'll have this little space. Just pull that through. So you're creating another knot. And just tighten that up. Now I can tie a bow. I'm going to trim off any loose threads, finish off one end, and there we have one finished hanger. Now I would recommend putting some type of a glue in this knot to hold it. There are many different glues you can use. Put some glue in there and let it dry. And that way my bow doesn't come undone. This now looks nice and that fabric will grip the fabric of your shirt and help it stay on the hanger. 
So now with that leftover binding, we can turn those plain hangers to something that doesn't slip and it looks nice. But you know, as soon as you do this, you are going to need that piece of binding. Guaranteed. <laughs> I do hope you enjoy this quick and easy project and thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. I'm on Facebook, Instagram and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. I'll put some links in the description for you. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.